One of my favorite feelings is the exquisite rush of excitement upon suddenly seeing the telltale bright orange glow of Chicken of the Woods mushrooms illuminated by speckled sunshine poking through the forest canopy. It's August, so once again I'm on the hunt for these exquisite, tasty, and often prodigiously abundant mushrooms. If you saw my video about these mushrooms from last August, you may recognize this stump as the very same one where I harvested then. This is one of the great aspects of these mushrooms. As long as the source of rotting wood remains, they tend to return to the same spot year after year. Don't forget to look for other species nearby. This large boleti is too infested with insects to be edible, but it is good to remember for next year as well. Let's take a closer look at the chicken of the woods. I checked this stump only three days ago, and there was no sign yet. Such a young specimen may be relatively free of insects, making it an even more exciting find. It is proving more difficult than usual to pull from the stump, another hopeful indication of being free of insect damage, which weakens the stem of mushrooms from their internal excavation. The underside looks very clean, and the heart of the stem is completely intact with no cavities present. This mushroom is looking more promising all the time. Because Chicken of the Woods is a bracket mushroom, the stack we see is all one mushroom. Let's break them apart to take a look at individual caps. Again, there are no holes and very little debris from insects. This is a rare find indeed for my forest. Note the tiny nodules emerging beside the remains of the stem. These are future specimens. I will return in a few days to harvest more of them. Even though it is so young and small, this one specimen will enhance many meals for me. Another great aspect of Chicken of the Woods is how well it keeps in the freezer. It is a good idea to cut it into desirable sized pieces before freezing for easy retrieval without having to thaw the entire cap. Speaking of meals, in celebration of this wonderful find, I will make a meal featuring wild ingredients, including freshly picked wild asparagus and seasoned with wild chives and wild oregano, both found in great abundance here, plus a selection of berries, including some of the last of the mulberries, which are quite unusual to find in August. Chicken of the Woods is an exceptional mushroom, being very easy to identify and delicious to eat. Look for it as early as mid-July, growing on dead stumps and logs in mature hardwood forests. It is a joy for both body and soul. The excitement of finding it is possibly the richest reward of this special gift from nature. It is an essential food for the beginner and avid forager alike.